The following interview was conducted with Irvin Roberts for the Purdue University Oral History Project. It took place on August 4th, 2017 at the Indiana State Fair. The interviewer is Adriana Harmeyer. Irvin, could you tell us briefly where you are from? Uh, Brookville, Indiana. Mm -hmm. And when uh, did you attend Purdue? I attended Purdue from 65, the fall of 65 to the uh, spring, uh, spring of 1970. And what did you study there? I was in the uh, School of Technology, Mechanical Engineering Technology, or uh, associate's degree, and then the BS was called uh, Manufacturing Technology. Mm -hmm. and what did you do after you graduated? I uh, went to work at Mosler Safe Company in Hamilton, Ohio. Was there for uh, four years and then went for Ford Motor Company for 31 years. Were you involved in any student groups or clubs on campus? Uh, lived in Owen Hall, but uh, no, I don't believe I was in, in any uh, any groups. Okay. I was uh, between my sophomore, the Christmas of my sophomore year, I uh, happened to stop at a local company in Cincinnati and ask about a job for the summer, and the uh, personnel manager was a Purdue grad and he wanted to know if I'd be interested in co-oping with them. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, I said I'd check it out with the, you know, on campus because Cincinnati had a lot of co-ops from the University of Cincinnati so the uh, School of Technology said that would be okay that I could work a semester and go to school a semester so I, I co-opted with Cincinnati Incorporated for four years mm -hmm. in Cincinnati, Ohio. Was that an unusual arrangement for a student? Yeah, there were, uh, I don't believe they had any other co-ops in the School of Technology at the time, mm -hmm. but that meant that I went to summer school. You know, I started, uh, I went to school the fall of 69, and then uh, that spring, or the spring semester, I went and worked, and then I went to school the next summer, and from then on I alternated the okay. summer and fall. Did you have any jobs on campus? I was a uh, student uh, graded papers for the professor. Mm -hmm. What uh, professor? Harrison, Professor Harrison in the School of Technology. Mm -hmm. Do you remember the places on campus you like to spend your time? Well, Michael Golden Labs was uh, one of the fun parts, the mm -hmm. different, different classes we had there and that. And Were there any places you would go to study? get some quiet spaces well i'd go to the the library and i know i used to go over to the grad library and i got locked in one night i didn't believe when they said that last call you know i did get locked in had to call the security and takes them about an hour to show up to let you out so. mm -hmm. do you have any memories that stand out to you from your time at purdue well i just enjoyed my my time and we had uh, the victor varieties on uh, football weekends was always great to have the shows like Whip Wilson and uh, Paul Patter, another guy that ran for president. I can't think of what his name is, but I mean, there was always a great, you know, the shows on Friday, on uh, weekends of football games was always great. Mm -hmm. Have you visited Purdue recently? Uh, we go up for all the football games. Mm -hmm. What about campus do you think has changed the most over the years? Well, I haven't seen a lot of great changes, just always new buildings going up and new improvements. So, mm -hmm. uh, okay. Just, Do you think it's pretty much stayed the same? Yes, it, it stayed a lot the same. Mm -hmm. Is there anything about Purdue that you think should get more attention? Uh, no, no, I, I guess not. Okay. Do you have any advice for incoming Purdue students? <laughs> Just open your wallet up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you have any other memories or, or comments about Purdue that you'd like to share? Well, it was just a good time. The uh, uh, street dances on the weekends and... Uh, uh, you know, dressing up for Friday night uh, dining, it was 
it was an education which I don't see happening up there today, you know, that, uh, and the fact that you couldn't have cars until you were upper class, uh, mm -hmm. it, it, it makes a difference. Today, you know, it seems like kids don't know how to take a bus downtown or those type of things. Mm -hmm. So it's changed in some ways, but the same in other ways. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for talking with me today. Okay, thank you. <laughs>